So we're talking about perseverance. Uh, this was uh, a mission sent to Mars under uh, President Trump's first presidency. And a year ago, uh, we found a sample, uh, and it was, uh, again, we're exploring in places where there were rivers and, and where there were lakes. And uh, much as on Earth, uh, we think that that's where we'd see signs of ancient life um, uh, on Mars. And so a year ago, we thought we found uh, what we believe to be signs of microbial life uh, on the Mars surface. And so we put it out to our scientific friends uh, to pressure test it, to analyze it, and go, did, did we get this right? Do we think this is signs of ancient life on Mars? And after a, a, a year of review, uh, they've come back and they said, listen, we can't find another explanation. Um, so this very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars. And today we are really showing you how we are kind of one step closer to answering humanity's one of their most profound questions, and that is, are we truly alone in the universe? They've done the analysis on these leopard spots, um, and we, you know, we think they are potentially made by some sort of ancient life. Um, this, per this finding by our incredible Perseverance rover is the closest we've actually come to discovering uh, ancient life on Mars. And if you can't tell, we're really excited about that. <laughs> um, and, but, you know, I also, again, I want to put it into context. It's a signature. It's a sort of leftover sign. It's not life itself. Um, and it certainly could have been from uh, ancient life, and that would have been something that was there billions of years ago. Nothing that's current there. And what that means is we look at everything we know about life on Earth. And this is the kind of signature that we would see um, that was made by something biological. In this case, it's kind of the equivalent of seeing like leftover fossils, you know, leftovers from a meal. And um, maybe that meal's been excreted by a microbe. And that's what we're seeing in this sample. Um, and, you know, again, as Secretary Duffy said, we don't know for sure that's what it is, but, and we won't stop after this first analysis. This certainly is not the final answer. And what's exciting about these finds, this, this sort of combination of mud and organic matter that has reacted to produce these minerals and these textures, is that when we see features like this in sediment on Earth, these minerals are often the byproduct of microbial metabolisms that are consuming organic matter and making these minerals as a result of those reactions. But there are non-biological ways to make these features that we cannot completely rule out <clears throat> on the basis of the data that we collected with our rover payload. So what we need to do from here is to continue to do additional research in laboratory settings here on Earth and ultimately bring the sample that we collected from this rock back home to Earth so that we can make the final determination for what process actually gave rise to these fantastic textures.